Hello students, welcome to today's lesson on uses of bacteria in industrial processes. In this lesson, we are going to study production of vinegars. But before that, we need to have an overview about applications of bacteria and other microorganisms in traditional and modern industrial processes. How are bacteria used in industrial processes? Bacteria and other microorganisms have been used in manufacturing processes by human beings for thousands of years through fermentation. So, fermentation is the breakdown of carbohydrates into organic acid, alcohol, and carbon dioxide using bacteria and yeast cells. So, these yeast cells and bacteria need an aerobic condition to work well. These microorganisms have been used to make a certain industrial products in traditional and modern industrial processes. In traditional industrial processes, they get applied to produce yogurt, cheese, bread, touch, injera, tala, araki, wine, and so on. In modern industrial processes, this essential microorganisms have been applied to produce hormones, vaccines, washing enzymes, antibiotics, vinegar, yogurt, cheese, and so on. When we get back to production of vinegar, vinegar production is devil fermentation processes to produce vinegar. This devil fermentation process involves the first one, sugar must be changed to ethanol through the action of yeast cells. The second mechanism, ethanol should be changed to ethanoic or acetic acid through the action of acetobacter. Vinegar is a dilute solution of ethanoic or acetic acid in water. This acetic or ethanoic acid must contain other substances that, that give the vinegar its flavor. Vinegar is used in two main ways. Since vinegar contains ethanoic acid and flavoring spicy substances, it has two main benefits. The first benefit is to flavor foods since it contains flavoring agents, spices. The second one, to preserve food, since vinegar is an ethanoic or acetic acid and too acidic for most microorganisms to grow and multiply, it can preserve foods for a certain periods of time. So, keeping foods in vinegar is a good way of preserving what we call food pickling. Vinegar is produced by fermenting beer, wine, or cider for a second time. Here is a special acetobacter that act as an agent to oxidize or ferment ethanol alcohol to ethanoic acid. Okay, here it is how we can produce vinegar in special fermenters. First, we need to make a special fermenter. This special fermenter, what you watch from the right side, must be filled with wood shaving that contain acetobacter. Then the alcohol sources must be sprayed in from the top and it trickles down through the wood shaving. When this alcohol, ethanol alcohol, trickles down through the wood shaving, acetobacter gradually oxidize the alcohol to ethanoic or acetic acid. This special bacterium needs air. So, this special fermenter is designed to let in air. So, air is blown in at the bottom to supply oxygen to the bacteria. The vinegar then drips out at the bottom of the wood shaving and is tapped off. This type of production is called continuous production as alcohol is continuously being fed in on the top and ethanoic acid is continuously dripping out at the bottom of the fermenter. This is technically how we can produce vinegar in a special fermenter. You have to watch properly 
the setups of special fermenters. When we see the setups of special fermenters, there is, there is a spray head, air outlets, ethanol source inlet, air inlet. There is vinegar outlets, cooling system, sampling ports. This is what it looks like. This is the product of vinegar. 